nice one guys so basically let's get the cooker on we're gonna start it right now okay i'm gonna show you how exactly you can make this an amazing drink before you go to your bed now simple step-by-step -step recipe doesn't complicate it doesn't complicate it and i will start the show immediately because i'm not gonna keep you guys time up tonight it's a little bit late to be honest with you all right so we're gonna go into some action and just deal with this thing right now Alright. So tonight I'm just gonna jump straight into it and I'm gonna show you exactly what you guys are gonna need to do because very important recipe. From Chef Ricardo cooking, right? lovely and nice yeah things looking good i'm just waiting for a few more to come on alive and then we are good to go okay i didn't know that wow yes guys share the video please share the video please share the video please share the video Yeah, we got we get in there. Yeah, we get in there, we get in there. We are getting there. Let's get it there, guys. Let's get it there. Let's get it there. Trust me. We are getting there right away. No time to muck about. nice one so what we're gonna do i'm gonna simply share the recipe with you right now and i'm gonna simply say to you now someone asked me the reason why i put um baking soda when i'm doing my um when i'm doing my my washing right here so the reason why i put baking soda is to get rid of any parasite dirt anything like that you know what i mean baking soda help to wash it and clean it you know what i mean so basically when i used to work in the school we used to work we used to do um we used to wash the vegetables if we don't have um salad wash we use baking soda to wash it because baking soda is good guys all right yeah Baking soda is really good. So what we're gonna do, here it is. All right. I'll soak it into the water for roughly about 10 to 15 minutes now. I have it in the water soaking, all right? So just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Right here, this is what you wanna do. You wanna wash off the leaves, all right? Now, I got two leaves, I got parsley, and coriander these are the two items i'm going to be using all right we're going to put some more extra but let's get this wash off first all right now once you wash it off all right guys i'm gonna remove this because so i'm not gonna stay too long on the show all right we're not gonna stay too long we're gonna deal with it very quickly all right, now what we're gonna do is all right we're going to um get the cooker on all right 
Let's get the cooker on. That's what I'm gonna do right now. All right. Cooker on. All right, here it is. We got some water. So this is like roughly about one cup of water right here. All right, we're gonna pour in one cup of water into the pot. All right, lovely. Nice one. Then what we're gonna do is try and get this wash off, guys. All right, trust me, it's important. here I got some right here I got some coriander and parsley all right so we got some coriander and parsley and we're going to cut it up all right yeah so it's gonna be a simple one not too complicated all right trust me i know exactly what i'm doing right here <laughs> now so this is the coriander we're going to simple cut it up it's on the parsley very finely Similar coriander and parsley. Amazing. All right. Now, so as I can see, this is the coriander and the parsley cut up. Okay. Then what we're going to do, let's make sure we have everything sat out properly. You know, we don't want to do any mistake. All right. So, here it is, we're going right here, we're gonna just put it straight into the pot like this. All right, beautiful and nice. These are my bedtime drink when I'm gonna do guys. So if you follow Chef Ricardo, you will know say every evening, this is gonna make the third evening, I'm drinking coriander tea. Cause the benefit is amazing. one so right here we got some ginger we got a few slices of ginger we're gonna put it straight into it like this beautiful all right but this is my little secret what i like to use right here right here we got some cloves we're gonna put a few cloves into the water beautiful give it a mix
nice one. So right here, we got some bay leaf. So I'm gonna put some bay leaf into the water like this. Give it a mix, all right? All right, once you mix it, we're gonna make this cook for about 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes. one it's beautiful and I'm telling you it's very simple uh, well if you want to have it as a detox you can have it as a detox also but it's beautiful drink Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it. Okay, guys, I'm going to steam it up. All right. Then what we're going to do next, we're going to turn off the cooker. Leave it for it to steam for a few minutes. That is lovely. That's also healthy. Nice one. Oh yeah, you can smell that steam coming out. Now, you see when you get different kind of herbs, and mix it together it works guys all right 100 it works now i would encourage you if you guys got um any access to any of these kind of herbs at home i would say to you use it don't be shy okay use it coriander parsley dill bay leaf cloves garlic ginger lemon all of these things, you name it. Whenever you have access to them, always use them. If you've got fresh mint, you can also use. All right? So here you go. I'm just giving you some tips and ideas of what you can do at home. All right, guys? Beautiful recipe for you guys to use at home. I would encourage you guys, anytime you got access to any of these kind of natural herbs, natural ingredients, please use it because... The end of the day has got a lot of health benefit. I just came on. What are you making? Okay. I'm just making a simple cup of tea. All right. So that's what I'm making right now. I'm just making a cup of tea at the moment. Very, very simple one. Now, what I'm going to simply say to you, I'm just going to remove the lid, the plastic, all right? That's so you guys can see. Because when I cover it, you don't see what's going on. All right? I just steam it. So you want to leave it for it to just to just cool down on its own. But look at this. This is excellent. All right? Yeah. So I just turn off the cooker and honestly, that's the way it looks guys. Amazing. All right. It's fantastic. That is excellent. See it here? That is beautiful. So if you guys are watching at the moment, remember last night I did one, but similar. 
but I mix parsley with coriander tonight. All right, with some ginger. Now, this can give you a good night's sleep also. All right. Yeah, 100%. This can give you a very good night's sleep. If you are a person who are not sleeping well, then this works out really well for you. 100%. All right, let me see what's going on. Right, um, Sandra Campbell, good morning. Lisa, thank you so much. Martin, um, thank you so much. Good, thank you so much. Um, also, yeah, what the other name of the coriander? Uh, parsley. All right, I use parsley, fresh parsley and fresh coriander. And um, we'll call it. Um, turmeric ginger is nice together. Yes, I did that one today, but I use um, turmeric ginger beetroot. Yeah, that's the one I use today. Um, 405. I would love to take some of it. It's a drink, someone. You want to drink this and you go to your bed? Oh my, tell them I don't have to even know, man. This is amazing. Drink this and go to your bed, guys. The way you feel, trust me, you feel totally different, man. 100%. All right? And that's why I always make this kind of tea. If you notice, I'm always making this video because I know what it's done for me. So, to be honest with you guys, I just have to just keep making it. Guys, it is powerful. I got ginger in it. So this is the ingredients. This is bay leaf. If you guys doesn't know what is bay leaf. All right. This is some bay leaf. All right. We got ginger in it. We got cloves, parsley, and coriander. What's are the benefit? Now, the benefit of coriander all right this one right here i give you one of the most important one with this drink it can help to reduce your blood sugar a lot of people suffer with blood sugar all right now secondly also your your information in your body what cause you to suffer from different kind of symptom secondly uh now this one help you with heart issue also um thirdly also if you want to get a good night's sleep the coriander is perfect for it now bacteria in your stomach then this is where um we got the, the cloves ginger very good for um i would the ginger is also very good for certain kind of information in your body which i don't want to talk about on social media all right <laughs> secondly there's a lot more guys is the list is long very very long i i'm telling you i'm not gonna put any lemon inside of this you don't need any lemon you just need all of these ingredients which i've been using inside of it all right so it's, it's a very very long list of the benefit for this right here one well, we're just making all right lots of stuff guys very very much I will share the information in the description box where you guys can also read up on the information on your own. All right. I will put that in the description box. No, no lemon. Craig, good morning. Now, let me tell you something, guys. It's not everything you make. You should put lemon in it. All right. Lemon is very powerful. Lemon is very strong. And lemon will just kill the benefit of what you're supposed to get from the coriander, from the parsley, because lemon is powerful. You squeeze lemon in this, it change everything. That's the way your lemon is so powerful. All right, so you don't want to be doing that one. But it is a very, very good drink. All right, very powerful home natural remedy. All right. Now, let's come over here because I'm not going to keep you guys long tonight. It's getting a little bit late. And it's going to be fantastic. All right.
So, right here, we are back at the kitchen again with another one. Let's get the strainer. All right. Here it is. All right, so we're just pouring it out like this. Oh yeah, that looking good. So that look nice, we got the color. So as you guys can see right here, I'm going to put this little bit inside of it. Okay. Just like this. Nice one. And it's going to take his time and simmer down. If you like to, if you like to, you can put some honey inside of it. If you want to, if you like, you can put some honey, but I want to encourage you to put any honey inside of it. I will just leave it naturally, just like that. All right, 100% because it's, it's amazing. The whole flavor and the texture is so beautiful. So leave it as it is. And I will say to you, please, please, please share the video. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right, yeah, 100%. But keep watching it for a few minutes and see exactly what Chef Ricard has been talking about. Right there. 100%. Yeah? So the recipe is a very simple recipe and it's a recipe which I did many times. But fox and fox. Wow. Today I got off late. All right, don't worry yourself. Everything is good. All right. But I'm just simply showing you exactly what you can do at home, guys, because the recipe is amazing. All right. Yeah. Very, very lovely recipe. But the recipe, trust me, what I'm going to do I'm going to share one more recipe with you for bedtime recipe for you. If you cannot sleep, then this is what you want to drink. All right? Yeah. If you can't sleep, you need to drink this one. If you can't sleep at night, all right. Let me give you one recipe before you go to your bed, guys. This one is for you to go to bed and sleep good. All right. Yeah. So, if you can't sleep, I would say to you, watch this video to the end all right i'm gonna switch around back my cameras that's so you guys can see what i'm doing all right let's show you guys exactly what you can do at home all right if you cannot sleep i did this recipe many times but you know what i mean i just decided to share it here one more time because it is good to share new recipes and new ideas write down the recipes okay if you can't sleep at night this is for you let's get the cooker on all right 
So one medium sized pot, all right? And then one cup of water into the pot like this. All right? Once I put in the water, turn on your cooker. Lovely. Right here, we're gonna get, um, this is what we're gonna get. One fingers of ripe banana, like this, okay? Um, what next? We're gonna get, um, ripe banana, cinnamon stick, right here. We're gonna get some cinnamon powder also, All right? Lovely. So what you want to do with the banana, this is the banana, you want to cut up the banana, alright? So you want to cut the banana them into some slices like this, and this is the cinnamon. So we're going to mix both two ingredients together, alright? So... If you can't sleep at night, this is for you. So next, all right, what you wanna do is put the cinnamon stick into the water, all right? And then one fingers of ripe banana into the water. All right, what you can do, is break up the cinnamon like this. So if you can't sleep at night, this is a recipe for you. I got another, guys, I got a whole different recipe for you, you know. All right. Now, if you can get some organic cinnamon powder, it's much better. All different recipe I have for you. All right. So, right here. I got some cinnamon powder. This is some cinnamon powder. We're gonna put one tea, half a teaspoon into it and give it a mix. All right. I got a whole heap of recipe for you guys. Like, good recipe. Even one with nutty egg. I got another recipe with nutty egg, which is very good. Also. So what you want to do, let this cook for roughly about 8 to 10 minutes, all right? Yeah. So this is just ripe banana and cinnamon. So if you have organic cinnamon, I would encourage you to use the organic cinnamon, all right? It's really good.
Nice too. Thank you so much. Um, that is cinnamon and ripe banana. If you cannot sleep good at night and you're struggling for sleep, then what you want to do, all right, is turn off your cooker. All right. Turn off your cooker. All right. Chef Andre, good morning. Yeah, if you if if you're not um yeah if you're not sleeping well at night guys this is for you trust me very powerful remedy Charlotte, thank you so much for that two US dollars. I appreciate it, man. Uh, Fox and Fox, thank you so much. Um, um, <laughs> Susie Christie, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love. 100%. Oh, keep this going. Drink a lot of lemon or lime juice. Very good for you. All right. Yeah, I know, I know Fox Fox. We, we just have to just keep pushing and going on. Walk Hillary, thank you so much. <laughs> Buzz Ve hey, Buzz Vegan Living, thank you so much. Cena. All right, thank you so much, guys. A lot of comments. I just look through the comments then. Um, eat good TV. What's going on with you now? Okay, first time. Yeah, turn on the notification. Yeah, all right, Fox, Fox, that's all we can do is pray. Yeah. Um, Janet, what you say? Did you try this one? Did it work for you? Well, if it works for you, man, I'm so happy. Chef Andre is in the building. Susan, Christian. You're welcome, Mr. Chef. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I have to go through the comments then because I was like cooking and I never was paying attention. So, you know what I mean? I have to go through the comments then, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> but anyway, look at this, guys. Um, this is how it look. All right. Looking beautiful and nice. So it's banana. Right, banana and cinnamon. Fox Fox is not with you, not getting all of that notification. What's going on with my notification right now? Try and turn on the notification, guys, because I got a lot of recipes coming out soon. 
where you can afford to miss the recipes and Yeah, yeah. Turn on the notification, the black one. Don't miss none of my show. It's important. Fox, Fox. You miss, you're gone off a show for about six months. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for coming on the show, though, back. It was nice to see you. Um, Chef Andre, what's going on with you now, man? Sorry, guys. Um, Craig, good morning. Nice to see you coming on the show. Eat Good TV is in the building. What's going on, Eat Good TV? What are you cooking today? You cook some special dishes over there. I know. <laughs> All right, Fox, Fox. Big up yourself, man. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. All right. Trust me. That is awesome. All right. Yeah, look at that. You see? That's how it look right here. We're going to pour it off now. So this is just cooling a little bit. Nice. Sorry about that, guys. I was just going through the comments then. <laughs> you know, when you are cooking, you have to a concentrate power what you are doing. All right. Lovely and nice. Look at that. That is excellent. Look at that. Now, this is what I'm talking about. If you do not um, think that yet, guys, make this yet, I'm telling you, you need to try this recipe. All right. It's 100% legit. All right, so this is what happened. All right, that's looking good. All right, so if you cannot sleep at night and N.S. Williams, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love 100%. Now, if you cannot sleep good at night, guys, this is a powerful ingredient I'm sharing with you right now. Let's get the other um, six more like to 100. All right? 100%. Beautiful. Okay? If you cannot sleep good at night, then this is for you. All right? Hi, Maris. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate the love. Elevation. Greetings to you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. This is awesome. I'm telling you, honest truth, man. It's just amazing to know exactly what you can do at home with natural home remedy. All right? Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Now, if you guys missed the show, it will be on my YouTube channel. And I'm so sorry. I was just going through the comments. Gina, thank you so much. Spiritual, thank you so much. Janet, um, I'll tell you something. If you're going to your bed at night, I would say to you, Janet, to make it fresh. But you can also make it and have a portion where you can drink during the day for a detoxing drink for your body, same way. Still work good, really good for your body, for your immune system, same way. But if I mean... Personally, I would drink it fresh every day, hot and nice. You get what I mean? Then after you do that, trust me, 15 minutes before you go to bed, drink this. Because a lot of people still can't sleep, guys. Honestly. All right? And if you can't come with something natural, then after have to use any medication. That's really good. All right? Susan Christie. Yes, you can eat the banana. No problem with that one. All right. You can eat the banana. <laughs> Fox, Fox. Yeah, but you still have to take medication in the way though, Fox, Fox, because there are certain things in life you still have to take. All right. Fox, Fox, not easy, you know. Sydney. Oh, all the way from Canada. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love. What is in it? Um, that is just cinnamon and ripe banana. Good for sleeping. If you can't sleep at night, you need to drink this. 
All right. Wow. No, you don't need to do that anymore. If you if you're taking sleeping pill, you don't have to take sleeping pill anymore. Trust me. Now it's too. I got. If this doesn't work for you, I got more recipe. Get in touch with me on Instagram or Facebook, and I can share the other recipe with you. The other recipe is very simple. I got like four different recipes for sleeping. All right. Now I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. If this doesn't work, there is many more recipes which is natural can help you at home. All right. So do not take any more sleeping pills as from tonight. Fox, Fox. Alex, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Janet, um, yeah, you don't need to take any more sleeping pill. Sleeping pill has banned for you from tonight. Trust me, guys. If, you, if this doesn't work for you, get in touch with me. I got a whole heap of recipe which gonna help you and it have to help you it's not a doubt it's it, it, it's just for that purpose research say it works all right so if you if you make this and it doesn't work for you get in touch with chef ricardo cooking and i will give you the other recipes them all right i written them down on paper and give you take picture and send it to you or share them with you but follow me on instagram facebook chef ricardo cooking cool 100 all right, thank you so much for coming on the show. Janet, um, I have a book on my website, chefrecorder.co.uk, but it does not have these recipes in it yet. These recipes come in my next book for 2022-23. Fox Fox. Um, All right, that's the website, chefrecorder.co.uk. Teresi, all the way from Philippines. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so remember, if it doesn't work for you, we got more recipes for you. Please, do not take any more sleeping pill, guys. I was watching on the news the other day where they say it wasn't good, all right? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Look at that amazing tea. All right, so... Let's see what's going on right here. All right, Pennsylvania, thank you so much, Janet. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Fox, Fox. All right, <laughs> you can submit it from there. Wicked. Okay, Um, I use one cinnamon stick and roughly half teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Try and use organic. No sugar, no honey, no sweetener. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Carne little. St. Thomas. Thank you so much. Lullify. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Um, yeah, so this one right here, do not use any sugar or, or honey or sweetener because it's already sweetened. All right, you don't need to because the banana is sweetened and cinnamon is sweetened. All right, now, secondly, the ingredients, if you can get organic ingredients, use it. If you don't have organic ingredients, go ahead and still use it. But remember, if you have organic banana skin, it's also very good too, but... Do not use, unless you're going to wash it very good with baking soda, which is important. All right. What are the ingredients? Cinnamon and ripe banana. If you cannot sleep at night, 
then this is something where you want to take. All right. If this doesn't help you, I got more recipes can share with you. Very, very good recipes which are going to help you. You don't have any choice. It's just going to help you. Susan Christie. Yeah, do that, please. Yeah, that's what I like. I like to hear something like this. All right? When someone knows someone going through certain things, then they share the video with a person. All right? All right, so, yeah. Thank you so much for doing that one. You're more than welcome. Zelza, OMG. No sugar. You're welcome. Hi, Morris. Yeah, one ripe banana peel. One ripe banana. My husband need this. Thank you so very much. You're more than welcome. Share it with your husband. Share it with your wife. Share it with your kids, your family, your niece, your sister. Tell them. If this doesn't work, I got more recipes. And that's the beautiful thing. If this doesn't work, guys, I have more recipes which I can share with you, which is going to help you not to take sleeping pill. So if it if this doesn't work, let's put this aside. It didn't work, Chef Ricardo. But don't do it for one night and expect. You're going to just do it tonight or the night before. But I'm telling you, it will help you. Because it's something which a lot of people talk about, which I share on my YouTube channel. And they say it helped them. Now, if this doesn't work, come back to me and let me know. Because I got thousands of sleeping recipes to share with you. All right? Now, one banana, remove the skin from the banana and use the right banana. All right? Use this, don't, use this, don't use the skin of the right banana. Just use the banana itself right here. So cook the banana and the cinnamon stick or cinnamon powder. Whether any one of them you want to use. And drink it 15 minutes before you go to bed. If this doesn't work, Get in touch with me at Instagram, Facebook, or my website, chefrecorder.co.uk, and I'll share some more recipe with you. Tomorrow night, I'll give you the next recipe. If you guys click your notification bell, tomorrow about this time, tomorrow night, I'll give you another recipe. All right? Because I got more recipes to give you if this doesn't work. All right? Now, drink this every night for at least 10 nights straight. And see how it works for your body. Or right, five nights straight before you go to bed. All right? If this doesn't work, I got more ideas for you. All right? Zelda. Howard right, Robinson. Okay, thank you so much, man. Keep it up. Yeah, um, yeah, I know you came in late, Zelda. Um, Walker Larry, your word are welcome. Janet, thank you so much. Zelda, you're more than welcome. All right, but as I said, guys, if this doesn't work, don't worry yourself. We got more recipes, and that's the beautiful thing. I got four more recipes can share with you and out of these four recipes one half to help you i'm telling the honest truth now i'm talking to you right now and here's one of the recipe which i use tonight which is also very good if you cannot sleep good at night it's going to help you all right a million percent on that one all right so this one is ripe banana and cinnamon Zelda speed. Yeah. Coral. Um, this one, Coral, is for if you cannot sleep good at night. If you keep spinning and twisting in the bed and can't sleep, then this is for you. All right? You drink this before you go to your bed. 15 minutes before you go to bed, it will help you. All right? If it doesn't help you, I've got more recipes. 
doing right. If it, if it doesn't help you, I got more recipes. I got at least four more recipes to help you to put you to sleep. All right? 100%. Yeah. Gerald. Um, you're thinking, no man, don't think too hard, man. Everything is blessed. Don't worry yourself. Patricia, you're more than welcome. Don't worry yourself. Don't stress yourself. Everything is good. We are here to help you. Janet. <laughs> All right. Don't worry yourself. Um... So, if you're coming too late, guys, the video will be there same way, all right? Don't worry yourself. The video is not going nowhere, all right? But just to keep you update on the video. Fox, Fox, what's going on with you now? Don't worry yourself, people. Don't stress yourself no more, all right? Fox, Fox. Yep. Definitely. We got this. All right, Fox Fox. <laughs> don't write. All right, if you don't sleep right at night and you keep figgling and fussing and all sort of stuff at night, now I'm going to give you a recipe because I know this. A lot of people ask me for the sleeping recipe and that's why I did it most of the time. I sit up and I will do this one. Now, here it is. Get this and drink it before you go to your bed. 15 minutes. Now, if this doesn't work, eat two fingers of ripe banana 15 minutes before you go to bed. If that doesn't work neither, come back and get in touch with Chef Ricardo. I want you to come back and let me know. Okay? That's why I'm saying to you, if none of these, what I'm sharing with you tonight doesn't work for you, come back and I will give you recipe which is going to, you don't have no choice. It's going to make you sleep. But the only thing I would say to you, don't eat it and drink it in the morning. You have to drink it before you go to bed. That's the best time because you will sleep in the day. Because I have the recipes, guys. I have I do my research and I get the recipes them. So I can share the recipe with you. Alright? You just have to click the notification bell. Or join the membership. Support Chef Ricardo. Tomorrow I will be going live. You may miss that live. And then, you know what I mean? You're going back to, to zero. Back to zero. All right. So, but I have recipes to share with you. General. Yep. Boil it for about ten minutes. Miss Jen. Thank you so much, Miss Jenison. Thank you so much. Done right. Thank you so much. Arrested. Yep. Um, don't put any lemon inside of this one right here. Don't put any lemon. Just cinnamon and ripe banana. All right, guys. Cinnamon, ripe banana. Second ingredients I'm gonna give you, and if this doesn't work, come back and let me know. All right. Eat two fingers of ripe banana before you go to bed. Fifteen minutes before you go to bed, with cinnamon. If that doesn't work, do the boiling one. If that doesn't work, let me know. I have ingredients. No, I have recipe to share with you. If you cannot sleep at night. I got one more, two, three more recipes. And out of those three recipes, one have to work. Okay? And I will tell you what I'm going to say to you. Okay? Now, a lot of people drink coffee certain time of the day. Now, if you're a person who drink coffee, I would encourage you not to drink coffee um, 6 o'clock in the evening, 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. Try and avoid that. Here, guys, it's very important. If you drink coffee, do not drink any coffee between 12 o'clock right back till the next day, 12 o'clock. Don't drink any coffee. No, till... 12 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. Now, 
What you want to do if you drink, if you like your coffee and you like to have a cup of coffee, do not drink coffee during the day, like any time after 12. Drink coffee between 6 o'clock in the morning and 12 o'clock at the day. Do not pass over 12 o'clock. Now, the caffeine in coffee will make you cannot sleep. It will keep you up, no matter what you do. It will, no matter what you do, no matter what you're going to do, it will keep you up, okay? But this will still give you a brace off with the sleeping, but do not, because cafe in coffee is very strong, all right? Now, I want to encourage you, tomorrow, I will be go live again with another video, all right? And tomorrow, when I go live with the other video, I will show you what exactly what can help you again with your sleeping at home. Now, if you cannot sleep at home, none at all, and you're struggling to sleep, you feel stressed out, you feel tired, all of these things, I know the reason why. I know exactly what you're going through, why you're not sleeping, why you should be sleeping, and what you're not doing the right way and the right thing, okay? If you are interested in hearing the full 100% of why, I am here to teach you that one because I do my research, okay? I do my research and I know exactly what you are going through. Now, the first thing I want to simply say to you, give this a try. To Give this a try. Ripe banana and cinnamon. Now, you can do your own Google research and ripe banana and cinnamon. If this doesn't work, I have one more ingredient which is going to help you tomorrow. And if that doesn't work, I got more ingredients can show you with you. And if that doesn't still work, one have to work because I have one more to give you which is going to help you. All right? So, please, please, please do not um, get frustrated, all right? Take it easy. You know what I mean, guys? I know it's not easy. Take it easy, relax, and give thanks. You know what I mean? We can help you with certain kind of ingredients. I know the kind of ingredients to use, and I know all of the metal, and I know everything what you are going through. And if someone come to me and said, Chef Ricardo, I cannot sleep. I know exactly what to do, okay? So... Don't go anywhere. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Share the video with your friend and your family. Tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right? Don't worry yourself. I have recipe to help you. Okay? If you cannot sleep at night, do not stress yourself. All right? Sometimes it's a part of life, but we can deal with it. We can get there right with it. All right? So, what I'm going to do, I will... I wish Susie Christie. All right, thank you so much. Don't worry yourself. I have more to make you learn, man. GNL. Oh, you can sleep after drinking coffee. Okay, that's fine because every one of us body is different. So if you can sleep after you drink your coffee, you're pretty good to go. Not everyone drink coffee can sleep after because caffeine is still strong. All right. Fits right. Um, this tea which I just made is cinnamon and ripe banana. Just two ingredients. You can use a stick or you can use a powder. All right. Fits right. <sighs> Don't be afraid of nothing. Everything is good. All right, Maris. All right, thank you so much. There's you are. Don't fry. Um, breadfruit tea is good. JD. Princess. Yes, um, a lot of people drink coffee at night and it doesn't good for you guys. All right, don't drink coffee at night. It's try and drink some natural herbs at night, okay? So if you're struggling and drinking coffee at night because you, you know what I mean, you're going to keep up and can't sleep, all right? So just try and avoid that one. Um, Susan, Christy.
Don't write. Cinnamon, no, no, use the cinnamon powder. Cinnamon powder is much better. Um, you say you, you, um, a lot of people complain that so they can't sleep when they drink coffee. Don't drink too much coffee because at the end of the day, you may then mix it with milk and certain kind of things. If you're drinking black coffee, it will help you. Black coffee can help you in certain kind of disease in your body. All right. But if you are drinking coffee with a lot of stuff like you put in milk, sugar, all of these things in it, that's straight red flag right there. All right. You damage your immune system and it doesn't good for you. But if it's 6 o'clock between 12 o'clock and you drink coffee, that's balance your day, guys. I'm telling you, do your research. It is important. Coffee, every one of us love coffee. Sometimes you can drink coffee in the evening, but not too much of it. Try and balance out your diet. It's important. All right. But as I said, let me read up this message. JRL. Oh, you love Roma tea. Okay. You need to go to Caribbean. Hey, Roma tea is good for you. Um, you need to go to Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice. Their tea is very, very good. They got a lot of um, Roma tea. And very good if you have um, diabetes. Banana boots you in it boots you sugar. Um... No, if you have diabetes, um, that one, diabetes, don't eat um, double ripe banana. I'm going to tell you the best banana to eat is the one which. Um, I'm going to tell you, this is the best banana to eat. Even less greener, the banana more greener is even much better. All right. Green banana is very, very good, guys. It got a lot more health benefit. Now, when you're going through a certain kind of diabetes and certain kind of sugar business and all these things, what's going on through you, don't eat double ripe banana. It doesn't good for you. All right. Try and eat less. This is the best way to eat ripe banana. When it's green, it's going to little bit turn into ripe. That's very, very good for you. You can eat ripe banana, but I would say this is the best one to eat. All right. Yeah. And um, I would encourage you to drink a lot of, um, what do you call it now? Um, Moringa, 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 Moringa is very, very good for you. So, yeah. Um, liver problem, um, yeah. Um, follow me on Instagram. Get in touch with Chef Ricardo on Instagram. I can share some tips and ideas with you. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram and I can share a few tips and ideas with you if you like to. All right. Yeah, because I got a lot of ideas and tips, but there are certain things I cannot talk on social media. Marenge is very good, guys. And a lot of people don't grade Marenge, but see, this is my tea I'm drinking right here. Now, this one right here is also very good, which I just make since night. This one is his parcel and coriander mixed together with ginger. And I put some um, bay leaf in it and some um, cloves inside of it. Very, very good tea, this one. Now, and the next sleeping one I would encourage you guys to do is to use um, coriander. Make coriander tea and drink it every single day. Now, if you drink coriander tea every single day, this will make you sleep like a baby. Deep sleep. If you need deep sleep, coriander tea. It's very good for you, all right? Coriander tea is one of the best in the world. Also, all right? Tomorrow night, I'll give you a recipe on coriander tea. And um, the person who are talking about the diabetes, um, um, next again, there's another recipe which is also very good for you too. Very, very, very powerful herb and we underestimate that herb the herb is dela all right very powerful herb now right this all right this is another powerful herb for diabetes this one right here 
all right d-i-l-l get the organic one and drink it every single day this is this got all of your problem if you have certain problem at home this will help you this will cleanse out your stomach all right right here get the organic one and use it all right guys yeah if you can get the organic one please get it and use it um well let me see what's going on right now there's a lot of stuff going on susan No, nah, man, that's that's turmeric, turmeric, ginger, all of that is powerful. That will help you with inflammation in your body. All right, guys, so sometimes you eat chicken, rice, pork, beef, lamb, bread, pasta. So all of that will you eat, just like when you use bleach to clean your sink, do a lot of stuff make up that bleach, all right? But I'm going to say something to you. That way you drink, very, very good for you. I'll make that one all the time. Um... Susan Christie. Michelle. Um, um, Michelle, uh, use this for it. This one. This is some cloves. Very good for your mouth. All right, this one right here. So what you want to do, get two cloves and eat it every single day or boil it into some hot water and drink it. Get a teaspoon and boil it. Get the organic one. This is cloves. Very good. All right. Very good for teeth, toothache. And very good for your mouth. Good for bad, for bad breath and a lot of stuff. Give this a try. But um, but there is something where you can use. I'd have to take the picture and send it to you. Follow me on Instagram and I can take the picture and send it to you. Which is very good for your mouth. Because sometimes there are certain things you're going to need to use. Um, how to take so general how to take dill you have to make a cup of tea from it um, follow me on Instagram there is something specific very important for that one which can help you because sometimes you have to um, my uh, Instagram Chef Ricardo cooking and I can take the picture send it to you go and get it and it will help you because I know that one um, Chef Ricardo cooking. Um, so if how to take the deal. Um, this one you have. Um, you have to make a cup of tea from it. Get it and boil it, and drink it. Very powerful, Chef. What can I recommend? Um, let me see. Princess. Um, well, um, Princess Deve, um, I may have to do some research on that one for you. All right. Um, I, I may have to do some research for you, if you don't mind. Follow me on Instagram and keep me updated and I will, I will do some research. Susan, Kristen, Richard, thank you so much. Maxine Black. Um, do you ever try the sea moss, Christy? Max, all right, Maxine, do you ever try sea moss? All right, get some sea moss. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna tell you what you can also use. All right, and this is gonna help you 100%. You see, lemon, get some lemon, all right, and cleanse your face. and. So what you want to do, you want to boil up a big pot with some water. It's going to seem weird for do this one, though, but it's, it's going to work. Boil it up into some fox and fox. Sea moss works because it... All right. <laughs> if you want to get some good sea moss, to go to oceanmoss.co.uk. Now, for the blackhead, what you want to do, you want to do a cleanse on your face. All right. Do a proper cleanse on your face. Get some lemon. All right. And the lemon, squeeze it out into some lukewarm water or hot water and steam your face. 
all right? Steam your face. And once you steam your face, what you want to do after you steam your face, try and use um, um, coconut oil, all right? Coconut oil is very good on it, all right? Use some coconut oil. If that doesn't work, get some organic honey and some um, organic honey with... Um, with turmeric. If that doesn't work, we still got more stuff can give you which is going to help you. But you need to do a cleanse on your face. Steam your face and cleanse it. All right? Sugar with some oil. Yes, someone is requesting the sugar with oil. But I think you need to do a cleanse. Because when you do a cleanse, it get rid of all of... Because you know a lot of people, you know, remember a lot of people, they use a lot of stuff on their face. And sometimes because of the environment and all them things there, you're catching a lot of stuff on, in your, on your face and grow up into your immune system and get to your face and all these things. So, Beth, do a cleanse. You need to do a cleanse. So, once you do the cleanse, then you will see the difference. All right? But someone is saying it's a brown sugar. All right? Fox and Fox. Um, yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I got recipe for you. I got, um, recipe for you. I can help you. Hold on there. Brunch. Um, let me see. Fox and Fox. Yeah, because sugar is rough. But also do a cleanse on your face. You need to do a cleanse. Cleanse is very good. And if you can get some, um, um, black, what do you call it? Black, black coal, I already want to call it. Black coal is very good. Yeah. Black soap. Yeah, that's really good to scrub off it. But it's good to do a cleansing of your face. Like steam your face. Yeah. Black coal, yeah. Black coal is the right one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that one is a very, very good one to cleanse the, cleanse the skin because the black coal, I use the black coal also. It's very good, but um, it's good to do a cleanse on your face with the lemon. Steam your face. You know what I mean? Put uh, some peppermint in it and steam your face. If you can get some peppermint, very, very good to steam your face and get rid of certain things out of your face. Uh, um, yeah, night people. Good night. Fox, Fox. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, yeah. Black coal. Yeah. Very, very good one. Susan, Christine. Um, Christine, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Good night to every one of you guys. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any more information, please feel free to get in touch with me on Instagram, chefrecordercooking.co.uk. That's my website or my Facebook page because there's no way here to talk to you guys where I could encourage you to take things and write it, show you, okay? So if you want to get some more tips and ideas, as I said, get in touch with Chef Ricardo. Tila, good morning. Thank you so much. What is in that cup? Cinnamon and ripe banana. Very, very good cup of tea to drink before you go to your bed. Very, very good cup of tea. Yeah, man. Very good cup of tea, guys. All right. Eat good TV. Good night. <laughs> good night. Eat good TV. Thank you so much. I just drink some cloves and lemon and ginger. Wow. Do not use any sugar in it, though. Okay. Don't use any sugar. Don't you just use if you want to use honey, make sure it's organic honey. All right. Now, my people, um, I must say to you, the ginger, try and get the fine ginger, the real organic fine ginger. Because we recognize that the big ginger them doesn't work good. Not giving a 100 percent the health benefit we are supposed to be getting. All right. Try night. What is in that tea? Um, this right here is some. Ripe banana and cinnamon. 
How long do I do this bay leaf tea? Um, this is not bay leaf. This is ripe banana and cinnamon. Now you can drink this at night before you go to your bed. 15 minutes before you go to your bed at night. You can drink it for 10 days and see all that hop worked on your body. If not, we've got more recipes can share with you. Anyway, thank you so much. Good night to every one of you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Thank you so much for watching. And as you guys can see, it was a very long one. Tomorrow night, we do another one. Lucia, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Fits right. Oh, banana burn your stomach. Okay, if banana burn your stomach, then acid reflex. What you want to do, what you want to do, good night. If banana is burning your stomach, get some apple cider vinegar, one cup of water, and pinch of organic honey. And drink that for 10 days and come back and let me know. If banana burn your stomach. Alright? If banana... Banana burn your... Get in touch with me. And I can show you what to do. Maxine Blake. Okay. Well, you're going to have to... Uh... Anne Thank you so thank you so much. Um, well, if he's, is your, if, he, is, if he's your husband, you're going to have to help him. You know what I mean? I saw you go. All right. You're going to have to just scrub his back, rub it out and all of these things and get rid of it. All right. Yeah. So you just have to just scrub his back for him. That's part of life. Um, seven, five, eight. I just giant. What is in that? What is in that? Cinnamon, right? Banana. Very simple one this evening from Chef Ricardo. Bless you, Chef. Thank you so much. Princess Diva, thank you so much. Right, doing right. Thank you so much. Good night. N.S. Williams, thank you so much. All right. Chef, I am going to check out on Instagram. Yeah, get in touch with me on Instagram. I have to close the show now, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good night and stay blessed. And whatever you guys do, man, stay blessed. If you need any information, guys, I will try my best and help you. Get in touch with me.